Hello everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to create a custom Fiori tile for your Fiori Launchpad. This, the tile can be used in order to display dynamic data in an intuitive way, in order to provide information at a glance from the moment you open the Fiori Launchpad. This is the first video of the two-part tutorial and we'll be focusing on the structural part of the process. First of all, let us take a look, look over the steps of what we'll follow next. We will need to gather certain files from the SAP UI5 framework that we'll use as a base for a custom tile. The second step will be to modify the files in order to fit our desired outcome. Then we will register the application as a chip and include it in the Fiori Launchpad Designer component. Near the end of the video, we will try to add our new tile to the Launchpad. In this tutorial, we will assume that you have an admin access to the SAP system because you will need to modify a standard SAP component. Um, also, we assume that the SAP Web ID landscape is set up and running and we'll be using it for development and the deployment. Other methods can be used as well, like manual uploading or using Eclipse ID, but uh, we'll, it will not be covered in the tutorial. First of all, we need to log into the SAP system that we wish to modify and start the transaction for the Fiori Designer. This is done using the transaction code slash UI2 slash Fiori Launchpad Custom. Once the designer is loaded, open the developer console using the F12 key and navigate to the network tab. At the end of the URL, you will need to add SAP UI debug equals true in order to force the UI5 engine to load all the files. Due to the magic of editing, you do not need to wait at the moment, but beware, this is a long wait time. Now that the files are loaded, we need to filter by the word dynamic, and we should have three files left in the list. We need to save the content of the files to a temporary folder using our favorite text editor. For this uh, tutorial, I will be using the Sublime Text and creating a um, demo video folder. After you save these three files, click one tile and wait for the next batch of files to be loaded. Now you should filter by the word configuration and repeat the saving process for files configuration view.xml and configuration debugger controller.js. After having the file saved, uh, we need to create an SAP Web ID project. Please open the Web ID and create a new project from template. We'll select the SAP UI5 application and enter the required fields. This will be the project that we'll be working on. The following step would be to delete the unnecessary files that were created through the template process and we will replace them with the files that we loaded from the Fiori Designer. You can do this by right-clicking the folder and import and file or project and then grouping them as a zip file in order to uh, upload them as a batch. Create a new folder inside the web app folder and uh, this will be the namespace where the where our resources will reside we'll name it my kpi tile and in this folder we'll move both the views and the controller files that we saved from the designer please rename the uh, app launcher file to KPI Launcher the, uh, Dynamic Chip XML and edit it in order to change the view path and the name of the custom tile. This will serve as a component type file that will uh, help the application load. Set the view name to mykpi.mytile.view.js and uh, 
the title will leave to uh, my dynamic tile and the description will be created by tutorial. Now we need to rename the view and the controller to match the new name that we chose. Therefore, we'll need to rename the view to mytile.view.js and the controller will be mytile.controller.js. Remember the configuration controller also and get rid of the debug tab tag in the name. We will need to update the namespace and the namespace of the view and the name of the view in the actual files as well. This can be done using the search and replace function by pressing Ctrl F. Using this, we will change the previous namespace to, with our current path and that is keep my KPI tile and the name of the view to my tile. This needs to be changed in the controller as well and can be done in the same way. In order to register the application as a chip, we'll need to deploy it as a BSP application in the SAP system. As you can see here, I had some issues while deploying the application because I forgot to delete some unnecessary files. You only need the files that we save to be present in the projects or else it will crash while deploying. So please delete the grant files, uh, package JSON and so on, and leave only the five files that we saved from the, de the designer. Now that the app was successfully deployed, we need to we can check in transaction code SE80 if it was successfully uh, saved as a BSP application. And as you can see here, we have the my tut file Z my tut my tile tutorial for a BSP application that we created. And uh, now we are ready to register it as a chip. This will be done using the transaction slash UI2 slash chip. Now please enter the name of the chip that you want to that you want to create. Click create. Um, enter the URL, the display name and the description. Also, because this is not a regular UI5 application, you need to point the URL to the KPI launcher that uh, we renamed earlier. Assign it to a package and it's ready to go. With the chip being created, we can uh, now start uh, including it into the Fiori Launchpad component. And this is done using the customized component that uh, can be launched from SE80 as a WebDIM Pro application or by following the URL provided in the description. You will need to have admin permission in order to modify the standard component. We will need to adjust the component chip catalog config. And the configuration ID will be a Fiori Launchpad catalog. As you can see here, there are already some components that I have added, the um, custom tiles that I have created in the past. Here you need to add a new value. Be careful because the value of the parameter needs to be exactly as the one in the previous entries. So we will add x dash SAP dash UI2 dash chip and uh, I forgot the name of the chip let's check again what I uh, added so it's a Z my tooth style we will add uh, my to tile. Be careful because uh, besides the colon, there needs to be no white space. Now let's save this uh, configuration and check to see if our changes were successful. We are assigning it to a transport and uh, after clicking OK, the process is complete. We will now head, now head over to the designer, the uh, Fiori Launchpad designer that we were earlier 
and when trying to add a new t a new tile we will see that uh, my tutorial tile is now present in this uh, view unfortunately there is nothing different from the standard dynamic tile at the moment but this will be changed in the second part of this tutorial please stay tuned for the next part of this tutorial where we will add a custom few, a custom microchart to this tile and uh, bind it to dynamic data from the backend. Thank you for your patience and stay tuned for more videos from Inspiricon.